Thank you so much for 400,000 subscribers. I truly appreciate all the love and support. Now continue that love and support down on my Discord. Links down below. Okay, bye. In order for Macro to become a ninja, he needed to do everything a ninja does. Macro read Japanese history. Watched all the animes. I believe Macro is ready to deflect everything. Even the haters. He is ready. Genji Shimada is the youngest son of Sujiro Shimada, the master of the Shimada ninja clan. In his youth, he was a spoiled, carefree kind of dude who didn't care about his father's illegal business empire. However, when his father died, the clan ordered Genji's older brother Hanzo to make Genji take a more active role in the clan. Genji, you know, being a carefree kind of dude, refuses this, and this pisses off Hanzo, which leads to a violent fight where Hanzo kills his brother, or so he thought. Meanwhile, Overwatch, more specifically Angela Ziegler, aka Mercy, finds Genji and revives him to health, although he could barely use his body. In exchange for helping Overwatch take down the Shimada clan, Genji received a new robotic body, making him a cyborg ninja. He was a big part of Overwatch and Blackwatch, until, of course, Overwatch disbanded. And at that point in his life, he felt at war with himself. He hated his robotic body and his being and wandered the world in search of meaning. Eventually, he met the Omnic monk Zenyatta, who mentored Genji and helped Genji obtain peace with himself. Now, he just needed to make peace with one last person his brother Hanzo. On the 10th anniversary of his death, Hanzo broke into the Shimada castle in order to honor his brother. However, Genji showed up and they fought until he realized that he was actually Genji. Genji forgave Hanzo and asked him to forgive himself. Will Hanzo change his ways? I don't know. And last but not least, in Overwatch 2, Genji has this dope hoodie on now. Woo, yeah! Now that you know who Genji is, let's learn how to play him, shall we? Genji's main weapons are shurikens. He can throw them three at a time in a line for more ranged attacks, or using his secondary fire, you can shoot them at a wide angle to hit big targets or enemies up close. Each shuriken does 28 damage. They don't have any damage fall off, so shooting them into a crowd of enemies can get you ult charge or even a kill. Because of this, Genji is one of the best heroes to take out Torb turrets, or enemies trying to run away. His secondary fire is faster and better for bursting enemies in close range. And it also has no damage fall off either. Genji has a passive ability, Cyber Agility, which means he can double jump and climb walls. Oh my god, a double jumper! So he can get to a lot of places most people can't and be a little sneaky boy. Look at you, you little sneaky boy. If enemies try to hide by going on roofs, Genji is the perfect character to chase them down. This also means you won't be getting pulled into the hole. Oh hell no, you did not just try to do that to me! Genji's first ability is Swift Strike, which allows him to dash at enemies 15 meters away, dealing 50 damage. The cooldown for this ability will reset after Genji gets a kill with anything, not just Swift Strike. You can use it to climb over tall areas, and in combination with your shurikens, it can guarantee you easy kills. Any weak target should be killed with this strike, because you'll get it back after killing them. If Farah is being annoying and you don't have a hit scan, Genji could still get to her. <laughs> but you should probably switch to McCree if there is a problem, I'm just saying. If your health is critical, sometimes it's better to dash away towards your healers or health packs, or just spam this. I need healing, I need, I need healing. healing. Healers need love healing. that. Once you get used to how Swift Strike works, you'll be killing entire teams without even using an ultimate. Oh, can we get this Anna? Oh man, I'm killing it. Genji's last ability is Deflect. He can deflect anyone with a gun or projectile. With one exception being Sigma, I mean, I don't know why you can't deflect a rock. So that means he can't deflect Moira's Grasp, Winston's Tickle Gun, Zarya's Beams, Doomfist Fist, Mei's Freeze, or Symmetra's Gun. 
but everything else is pretty much fair game. Roadhog's hook, get out of here! If you see a Genji deflect, don't put down your shield, Ryan. Stupid. Also, you can make Anna go to sleep because she must feel your pain that she has been giving you your whole life. No! And yes, Genji can deflect ultimates, which can be devastating. So you may be wondering, which ultimates can Genji deflect? <laughs> I've got you in my Genji's ultimate is Dragon Blade. For 6 seconds, you whip out your blade. Each swing does 120 damage and you move 30% faster. When using your blade, make sure you have a rough idea where the enemies are. Targeting the healers is always your best bet. Sometimes you just use your ult to bait out enemy defensive ults like Zenyatta's ultimate. Try to go for tanks last, as your blade doesn't do much against their huge health pool. The blade's range is 5 meters, which is much bigger than you'd think. Now, I know when you see pros use the blade, they make it look easy. Gonna be it. This is when Architect feels like it's time to go! Passing them all to bits! <laughs> well, it's not. It takes a lot of practice because most of you noobs will be like me at first. <clears throat> oh my god! Uh, 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 why? No! no. Ah! What? I missed it all! I'm so bad at this game! But eventually, your day will come and you will be a true Genji one trick. Why did I play? Oh, tasty! Wait. She's one! Got her! Yes! I got an achievement! I got an achievement! And if you combine big ultimates like Zarya's grab, it can lead to some great results. Okay, I just got. Oh, Genji's one. But I think the best combo is the obvious one, Anna's Nano with the blade, known as Nano Blade. There's a Reaper on me in the back, I'm probably gonna die. You're popping off! I actually did it! This allows for you to shred through opponents with ease. Even if the Ana isn't paying attention, you know, you should probably nano me next time a little bit earlier, but okay. This means your enemies will need to try harder to kill you too. Ready, I'm ready! No! I still got him! Uh, just one word of advice. Don't blade into an enemy team alone. Especially after they already captured the point. Ya noob? After I became a ninja, I knew exactly what it takes to be Genji. So if I were you, I would listen to these pro tips. Number one, Mercy pocketing Genji during Dragon Blade or in general makes his total DPS output outrageous. And since he's so mobile, Mercy will appreciate following him for safety. Also low key, I kind of ship Genji and Mercy, so this is why I had to include this. Number two, some abilities are important to look out for as Genji, like Reinhardt's Fire Strike, Gormora's balls, since deflecting these can get you easy ult charge while also helping your team avoid them. That's how you can get a healing medal as Genji, by the way, in case you were like, what the heck, how do I get this? How do I get this healing medal? What? Number three, Genji is a flanker that can beat other flankers at flanking, but he is best used for taking down weak targets and <sighs> Widowmakers. Genji's do your job, kill the Widowmakers the same comment four times right. oh! number four use genji to bully supports supports are your big except one support batiste his invincibility ability counters your blade make sure you kill the lamp first Unfortunately, with the introduction of Sigma, Batiste, and buffs to Mei, Reaper, and Doomfist's pure existence, Genji isn't in a good place. I feel like- 
I feel like Genji deserves a, a buff where he can't be trapped. <laughs> also, Genji Genji should have 400 health. Also, Genji should uh, have a shield. Also, Genji should have a gun instead of shurikens because I think it's stupid. And Genji should be Orisa. <laughs> but in all seriousness, until they revert some buffs, he won't be as good as he used to back in dive meta. I don't think he necessarily needs a buff, his kit is awesome and he's very unique and he's one of the most fun characters to play in this game. I just find it very unfortunate that these other characters that are not as high skill are the best characters to play right now. So hopefully Blizzard can fix this by Overwatch 2 because, I mean, I want to play Genji with that hoodie on. However, for noobs, I think Genji is pretty hard to play and it'll take a lot of practice for anyone to get really good at Genji. But what do you guys think? Do you think Genji deserves buffs? Do you think Genji actually needs nerfs? Do you think Genji is really easy to play or really hard to play? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I gotta finish the rest of these animes. I know I said I finished all of them, but they just keep coming out with new stuff. So uh, I'll catch you later, ya noob. I'm the macro OW. I'm the macro OW. That's what actually, it's not show, it's Mac Rush. O W. <laughs> it's the Mac Rush O W. <laughs> <laughs>